December 25th will bring many reasons to celebrate, it's an annual festival commemorating the birth of Jesus Christ. But in astronomy, that day is also the two-year anniversary of the launching of NASA's James Webb Space Telescope, humanity's greatest space-based observatory of all time. Launched on Christmas Day 2021, James Webb has been our cosmic workhorse, revealing the universe in a whole new light with unprecedented resolution and wavelength coverage to view the cosmos. Now, to celebrate its second birthday, James Webb has just left astronomers feeling festive. Recently, it allowed them to image a distant colorful cluster of galaxies they have dubbed the Christmas Tree Galaxy Cluster. In this cluster, the James Webb Space Telescope discovered flickering Christmas lights in the form of 14 new transient celestial objects that brighten dramatically before fading away. This winter wonderland is officially called Max 0416 and is located about 4.3 billion light years from Earth. Hao Jing Yan, an associate professor in the University of Missouri Department of Physics and Astronomy, stated, We're calling Max 0416 the Christmas Tree Galaxy Cluster, both because it's so colorful and because of the flickering lights we find within it. Transients are objects in space, like individual stars, that appear to suddenly brighten by orders of magnitudes and then fade away. These transient objects appear bright for only a short period of time and then are gone. Spotting so many transients in this galaxy was achieved by teaming the JWST up with the Hubble Space Telescope. The sheer number of transients spotted in one go implies there are a lot more yet to be found within the Christmas Tree Galaxy Cluster. It's almost like the Christmas gift for astronomers that'll keep on giving. The light from the Christmas Tree Galaxy Cluster began its journey across the cosmos when the solar system, now 4.6 billion years old, was newly formed and just around 300 million years old. This would ordinarily make it too faint for even the Webb telescope to see in detail. However, a little trick acknowledged by Albert Einstein in his 1915 theory of general relativity made observing this cosmic Christmas a little easier. Einstein proposed that objects of great mass must warp the very fabric of space and time, united as a single entity called spacetime. This gives rise to a curvature we experience as gravity. When an object passes between Earth and a distant light source, the light from that background object takes a varied amount of time to reach us due to the curvature created by the passing object. This phenomenon is known as gravitational lensing, and James Webb has been tapping into it successfully. To see some of the universe's earliest galaxies, James Webb's view of the Christmas Tree Galaxy Cluster is its latest example. Yen and the team found 14 new transient objects as they were looking at four sets of images captured by James Webb over around four months as part of the James Webb Space Telescope's P176 program. The team has identified two objects in the images as supernova explosions, thrilled by this result as they now use those supernovas to study the galaxies in which they are happening. Moreover, the astronomers found something else extraordinary in the Christmas Tree Galaxy Cluster a monster star in a galaxy seen as it was when the universe was just 3 billion years old. They have named the star Mothra, after the monstrous moth kaiju, from Japanese cinema. The galaxy in which Mothra lurks was lensed to around 4,000 times its original brightness. The object lensing this galaxy is currently unknown, but Yen and the team estimate it has a mass of between 10,000 and 1 million times that of the Sun. José Diego, research lead author and a scientist at the Instituto de Astrofísica de Canarias, said, The most likely explanation is a globular star cluster that's too faint for the James Webb Space Telescope to see directly, but we don't know the true nature of this additional lens yet. What is extra interesting about Mothra's galaxy is the fact it was also visible and lensed in Hubble Space Telescope images taken nine years ago. Normally, a lensing object and a background galaxy would move out of alignment over such a period, but Mothra's home galaxy and the object lensing it seem to have stuck together in the future. Yen and the team hope to both figure out the nature of this lensing object and uncover some of its characteristics. Yen concluded, we'll be able to understand the detailed structure of the magnifying glass and how it relates to dark matter distribution. This is a completely new view of the universe that's been opened by James Webb. One of two papers detailing the observation of the Christmas Tree Galaxy Cluster was published in November in the journal Astronomy and Astrophysics, while the other has been accepted for publication in the Astrophysical Journal.
with a preprint available on the research repository AR-14. Notably, this James Webb shot isn't the only Christmas-themed image in space this year. Just a few weeks ago, an image of Copia A, the remains of a star that exploded 340 years ago, was also unveiled by First Lady Jill Biden as part of a new White House advent calendar. These images, along with others, follow a long tradition of astronomers and other stargazers connecting the season of light with cosmic phenomena occurring light years from Earth. But there is genuine scientific wonder involved in some of these festive observations. Unlike the Christmas tree galaxy cluster, Copia A is a lot closer to home. Scientists have long studied the violent stellar explosion and others like it to figure out their role in cosmic evolution. Danny Milovich, an astrophysicist at Purdue University who studies Copia A, wrote in an email, Supernova remnants also create the elements needed to sustain life, like the oxygen we breathe, the iron in our blood, the calcium in our bones. At 11,000 light years from Earth, Copia A has been observed by a variety of space telescopes in visible, X ray, and infrared wavelengths. But the Webb's new infrared vision affords a better view. In April, NASA released an image of the supernova remnant using the telescope's mid infrared instrument. The latest snapshot makes use of the Webb's near infrared camera, capturing gas, dust, and molecules radiating at warmer temperatures. The pink and orange structures, enveloped in smoky material against a glittering backdrop of stars, resemble an ornament hanging from a tree branch. As Dr. Milovich said two years ago, Webb launched flawlessly on Christmas morning. At the time, I thought it was the best Christmas gift ever, but the telescope is the gift that keeps giving. What's interesting is James Webb isn't the only observatory sending us Christmas gifts. A distant star-forming nebula looks like a turkey fleeing a cosmic Christmas dinner, captured in a new image by the European Southern Observatory's Very Large Telescope in Chile. The festive photo features the star hatching clouds of gas and dust that comprise the nebula IC 2944 located around 6,500 light-years from Earth. IC 2944 has a distinctly fowl-like appearance, so astronomers have nicknamed it the Running Chicken Nebula. In the stunning new 1.5 billion pixel Very Large Telescope image, the wispy gas and dust tendrils of the nebula glow in red, pink, and orange, punctuated by bright blue stars-like.